Cornell University in Lewisburg, Pennsylvania for ESPN's presentation of Patriot League football. Today, the Bison, six foot, 188 pound senior. He'll hand the ball off right side and make that left side as he takes a little bit of a shift there. Josh Staley, the grad student, averaging in the low 50s with a, just a slight breeze. He'll go with a one set back, swings it over to the right side, complete over there to Pigan. Pigan will get the first down and be knocked out of bounds at the four plus minutes, as a matter of fact, at the time of possession. Here's the handoff. Stakely right side gets to the edge now and comes up with 10 and a first down carry right out of the uh, second. Carry Got a team that has a lot of time of possession. How quickly they're moving with the football. There's a handoff of the man in motion to Pigott. Pigott will get to the corner, but then get pushed hard out of bounds. And rather, looks like the defense coming up with press coverage. They're going to give it to Pigott on the near side. He's going to get to the edge. He's got the first down to the 30 and shoved out of bounds. It's coming from the near side. They'll back off. Knopp goes and lobs one up, trying to get some expanded coverage. And actually push in the end zone for the touchdown. Got it just enough separation to pick. It looks like Patrick Ryan in to kick the extra point. Snap set, kick up, and it is good. Nine plus. That's not going to happen here. We're at the 24 yard line, and Rucker back to pass. Looking to the near side. Back to go down the middle. Only the fourth interception of the season. Blop the tight end to the near side now. Back to pass, Knopp. He's going to look man to man coverage far side. Caught! Oh, and a beautiful catch at the one-yard line with a hand. Stakely to the right. He'll get the call right off tackle, right into the end zone. Touchdown, Georgetown converting on the interception. And waiting for a down right now, and that's the difference in this game. That's why they're up 14-0. Ryan with the extra point, and it is good. So it's 7.44 to go here in the first quarter. Back now they'll bring a man in motion. And he's going to be the lead blocker off the left side for Stakely. Stakely to the 40-yard line and his bulldog down a little bit. And Rucker calls for the ball. There's the play fake. Has to roll out. He's in some trouble. Spun into the end zone. I think he's going to be spotted. Get some extra protection. But they'll hand the ball off. And he doesn't get out of the end zone. It's a safety for the Hoyas. Kearney to the right of Knopp. He will take the ball and hand it. Nope, he's going to keep it himself. Roll out to the near side. He wants to dump it off, and he does finally for the pad. Some trouble stopping third downs. Here comes some pressure. Quickly getting rid of the ball and intercepted. Intercepted by the Bison. Trailing 16 to nothing, but have a long field to go. Back to pass Rucker. He'll roll out under pressure. Makes a man miss. Flags fly. He'll get past the 25 to the... Had that one. We can throw this ball and we can get first downs. Rucker gets the ball again. A little bit of pressure now. Finds the screen. And he gets it off to Coleman Bennett. Bennett across the 20 on third down, which is an improvement in the last two weeks. Back to pass Rucker. He's got a man. It's Weatherly across the middle. He's trying to get to the 30 and get to the edge. He did get the first Rucker. down. Ready. Call for the ball. And the handoff, Bennett. Bennett with the turn in the corner. Bennett's got the first down. And scampers just ahead of this delay of game penalty. Rucker calls for the ball. And he'll keep it himself. Off the left side. Made the right call down the middle of the field. Makes another man miss. And is almost at the midfield Rucker. strike. Got down. Third down and about 17. Play fake by Rucker. Rucker finds an open man on the seam. Got him inside the 30-yard line. In the second. It's been all Georgetown until this drive. Rucker has time, bounces around. Now goes to the middle, to the 10. Cuts to the outside, to the five, tripped up. And test on the kickoff as well. Here comes the play fake. Rucker looking, 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 firing. Has an open receiver. It's Weatherly, two points for the Bison. Third down and eight. Play fake, has time. Rolls to the outside now. Pressure's coming from behind, and there is really not much open. Knopp now with it. He'll play fake. Come to the near side, looking, looking, firing down the middle of the field. Wide open for the touchdown is Donovan, who picks up his... Punch Lindor just throws right near the goal down. line and the receiver. Two so far today. Low snap, recovered. Lindor tell you what if... was talking after the touchdown, but for the Bison, the, the mindset... ...to roll out to the near side. And will step out of bounds at the 49-yard line, give him four yards on that first okay, down run. Okay. It'll bring up second down. And the slant pattern 
it's Tate. The senior kicks up another catch. And this one good enough for 15 and a first down to the midfield stripe. And how about that, that Tate landing right on. Early this time is Harris. Harris leans ahead to the 31-yard line. It'll be good enough for another first down and a gain of 14. Hit pattern. Beautiful catch there by Harris in traffic. will take it down to the two-yard line. This bison is fired up, and it's go, go, go time. It'll be Baker off the left side, and he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Bucknell. Baker with his second touchdown of the ball game and his fifth points on the scoreboard, trailing Georgetown 23-14. Offensive line. And it is good. 13-08 remaining here in the third quarter. And Bucknell is able to pick it up and running it back the other way. And it looks like he's going to go in the distance as most. The, the sophomore linebacker picks up the touchdown on the scoop and Unbelievable. boy when things go your way they go your way and that one Kevin on the season that, that's something that we really haven't talked about with the wonders that the Bison have had all season and there is just right one there he's trying to get now, all the momentum back at it side scooting away for the first down looked like Baker may have gotten it by maybe the nose of the Baker football the I carry. think it is the nose of the football Kevin now back the pass looks to the far side and completes it for about a 10 yard gain on the far sidelines that's going to go to Tate Rutgers picks up his third Christian or fourth Tate. Bennett Baker gets the carry up the middle of the field. He's at the 30, 20, 15, high steps to the 10, to the 5, and drug down, down from behind by Zaron Daniel. Coverage throws back to the middle of the field, incomplete pass intended for Tate, and Tate was looking for a flag, did not get the flag on Daniel. Okay, Bennett's to the outside, stiff arm to the 10, to the six yard line, steps out of bounds there. Coleman Bennett, the ball carrier for the Good Bison. Good to see Bennett back in after the injury. A two twice leaded pass and leaning to the pylon, but coming up a yard short is Gary. He was trying to pick up his third touchdown Gary. of the season. They'll spot him at the one and a half yard line. And Georgetown hops on the football. And it looks like that one is going to be recovered by Messino of his end zone right down the middle of the field. He's got a receiver. It's going to be Kibble. Kibble down to the 30, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Georgetown. That one will end up is good. So Georgetown is able to avoid a safety. They're able to avoid a punt up the middle. Uh, up the, all over the place for Georgetown here in this one. Now they take breaking a tackle and getting the first down on that fourth down conversion is Baker. Baker looked like he was going to be stopped at the line of scrimmage and then sneaks ahead for a good and is complete here to the near side to Harris. Harris for a gain of nine. They'll be at the 38 yard line with two taker. Baker down the sides to the 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown! Baker for the Baker on the left side finds the end zone. 38. And here comes Rucker with the pass. Sets up. Now he's going to run through it. He's going to take it himself. Lean into the end zone Rucker for two. And, gets and two Bucknell points gets another two-point conversion. To Rucker dives for the news. Rucker putting his best John Elway in first. Our side. And running room over there for Isaiah Grimes, the tight end, who gets it beyond the 21 and right about the 31-yard line on his first catch on the near side. It is caught and tackled immediately right about the first down marker. Kibble on the play, on the grab, will Not get the first down. Jimmy Kibble. And that's Kearney. Kearney in the middle of the field. Kearney bowls over a tackler, tries to do it again. Jimmy and Coretta is one of the guys to bring him down at the 40-yard line along with a couple others. It'll be a play fake. He got faked out, and everybody got faked out by Anderson all by himself in the end zone. Rutgers pass complete. Derek Anderson Jr. for the touchdown. Rucker to Weatherly bought everybody on the defensive side of the ball. Good. It's a seven-point game with 8.47 remaining. And watch this. Going out, fires it downfield, and it is incomplete. Pass intended for Dunneman. And again, Schlendorf with an outstanding defensive play on the far side of the field. And he will be swallowed up immediately. Outstanding defensive play right up the middle. In the back the the ball. Knopp is going for it. It's picked off in the middle of the field. Coming back the other way for the Bison. Brad Jamison. 
Jamison with last time pumps fires it completes it to Harris Harris with a first down Harris struck down by the back of his jersey with a gain of 12 to the 32 he's gonna fire it up Weatherly's wide open the defender foul touchdown within one there's a late flag let's watch it again Rashad Adams good all time at 37 with 616 remaining and another flag coming in oh boy with Helen Robinson on the tackle kibble on the catch gain that time of six will be a first down yeah that will move the six buck now the middle record of the 30 slides just short of the 25 yard line will be good enough for 12 and a first down He's going to lob one up. He's got a man open, and it is. Fight for it. Caught for the touchdown. Touchdown. Touchdown of the year, and this place has blown the lid off of Christie's. And the Bison take a 44-37 lead with 3.14 remaining. There's to the near side, that one underthrown. Pass intended for Kibble. A good job by Pearson to close that incomplete. down. Second Kibble and had ten. some room. And he'll make a nice catch to the 40 and pushed out of bounds just short of the 50-yard line. They'll spot him actually at about the 49-yard line. And that's the first positive. And through a completion to the far side. And that looks like Beastick once again. And he is close to the first down marker. And it was Roman Pierce. To the near side. Oh, what a great catch. And he's going to go into the end zone. It's Jimmy Kibble. Kibble makes an outstanding catch. Keeps his feet underneath him. And, oh. and this is a defensive drive, Kevin, that Roman Pierce. It is good. And we are all tied at 44 apiece in a offensive jolly. Breaks a tackle, spins to the outside to the 30, and runs out of real estate. At the, the uh, spot him at the 32-yard line with forward progress. Steps up, swings it out to Weatherly, open at the 30, to the 40, to the 45, 50, and steps out of bounds. Shy of a 45-yard line. A big heads-up play down. by Rucker and Weatherly. For Harris, overthrew Harris. Harris was running a post. I think Rucker was throwing the out. Harris was open when he hit the middle of the field, though. Col uh, Col yeah. He fires it to the middle, and it is caught! Caught for the first down at the 15-yard line they'll spot him just inside the 15 yard line long enough and it is good and Bucknell has taken the lead Matt Shear fires it over to the 20 yard line caught and dropped B stick over there they'll sh spot him at the 19 it'll be third and four it's complete to the tight end for a first down. He hit Grimes and a great fake that time up the middle to Kearney. And he comes through. Kearney breaks two tackles. He's got the first down, pushing the pile down to the two yard line. They'll spot him though at the four, so his knee was down earlier. So he's going to be into the end zone. Is he there? No, he's short by at the one. The ball comes out. They're going to say he was down at the one yard line. And into the end zone for the touchdown, and Georgetown will win it with the score on fourth down, down and one the one. After Bucknell came from Pitt, come up with enough to win it, lose it by a score of 50 to 47. And of course, the from his uh, partner in the backfield, Kearney, and comes into the end zone, breaks the plane before there was an opportunity for what a phenomenal football field. game by both teams. Taking all the action talking about momentum and college football. This game was a great example of it. It's just in about seven. The chance to play for the Patriot League championship. So Georgetown will improve to five and five, three and two in the Patriot League. Bucknell falls to three and seven. For my partner, Colton Tobias, and our entire ESPN crew, I'm Kevin Hurst saying thank you for watching. Patriot